I'm Linda here. I want to share with you my next Christmas card. This will be October's card. Um, this is going to be the card right here. And I use this Spellbinders die that I got at Madison Mingle. I think it's really a cute die. And it makes these little people like this. And then I just took a Copic marker and... Um, and zero and just kind of went around the outside just to give it a little bit of a highlight and um, the inside of the card says let laughter love and holiday cheer carry you into a happy new year I see the stamp came from a raisin boat set and then the Tim Holtz die that is Merry Christmas I used Another little die, been a long, long one, mini snowflakes. All right, so, but the thing that was most fun about this car was the background. And the way I made the background was on the Yupu paper, and uh, and I used some alcohol ink. Um, I, I read Kath Stewart's um, blog on how she created a snowy background on one of her cards. I'll put the link below. And she used amethyst, sailboat blue, and um, stream. But I didn't have all those. I didn't have amethyst. So I went looking for it. And it's really hard to find alcohol ink at Michael's and Joann's now. So. I went to one of my favorite art stores, it's called Lynn's in Madison, and she carried this brand of alcohol ink. So I got another blue and a passion purple, and I did have the stream, because that one came in a, in a set. But I want to show you how I did it. I, I did it a little different than she did. She used those felt um, pieces and the Tim Holtz distressed thing, one of these things, like this, but I didn't want to do it that way. Um, the first one, I really gripped it, and that was kind of fun, but then I went, this was before I got all the other inks, so then I made this one, and I made this one, and I made this one. These, this one, I think, has a little bit too much purple in it, so I'm going to make another one so you can see how I did it. I better move all this out of the way because it's really messy. So this is a piece of the Yupu paper. And I'm sure I just have one here. I got a little tablet of it. That stuff is so expensive. And then I have my envelope here because, well, I'll move that out of the way because when I put the snowflakes on and try to lift the color. I use this lift, alcohol lift ink. Um, then I need a place to stamp it off on and I put it on the envelope and that's how I got the envelope to look like this. Okay, so I'm just going to get started here. Uh, let me see. This is stream. So stream's a little green, so I really don't want a lot of that. Then I want a lot of the blue. And this is the other brand, which is just as nice. Uh, except they're purple. It's really, really dark. So I'm going to use, I did have um, a purple twilight from Adirondack, so I'll try a little bit of that. It's a little bit lighter than the other one. So you see, that looks like that, and I think that's pretty cool, but I wanted it to look wintry. So I took um, one of my little mini misters, and I put the alcohol blending solution in it, which is this stuff. And I just sprayed it like this. I thought that kind of looked cool too. But then I took a paintbrush and I just kind of dabbed it all over the place to get it all spread around. And I really like the way this mixed the colors. 
because he ain't gonna want to add a little bit more blue. And every single one of them is gonna turn out different because you just can't <laughs> make them all the same. Now, I feel like I need to um, put a little bit more blending solution on. So I just put a little bit on the brush and there's a lot of ink left in the brush so it's still spreading it around. It just really, I think it makes it look like a really good stormy cloud or stormy background. So I'm just pouncing all over. Now I want to make it look kind of like snowflakes and stuff. Even though I have snowflakes cut out, I took a little bit of the blending solution and put it in the lid like this. And then I just took a stylus and just dropped it on there different places because that will come out wider. And then I'm cutting this in half. So I'm kind of knowing where, you know, like this is going to be the bottom of this one and this will be the bottom of the next card. I could drip it from the bottle, but I just feel like the drops get way too big. Well, that might just lay. That's okay. Okay, so. All right, so then I took, a, I took a little snowflake stamp and I put some um, of the blending solution on this little pad. I got these from Stamping Up. They're, you know, you can make your own pads with them. And so you can go like this and then just put some of the color on there. But when you're doing that, you're actually lifting color. So it's nice to have something to put it on. Now this doesn't lift the color like um, the alcohol ink lift does. So let's give this one a try. So this is the lift. You put it on there and then you go like this and you have it on your stamp pad or on your um, card. And when Kate, Kath did it, I thought they showed up more than they're showing up here, but I'm persisting. <laughs> that one started to show up. I think it just needs to dry a little bit more. So this is the alcohol lift ink, and um, I think you really need to let this dry really good before you do it. But the cool part is you get to stamp with it as soon as you do it. So um, I've been decorating the envelopes too as I go along. Well, that one I'm going to let dry a little, a little bit more, and then I'll put one together for you. So this is one that I've already done and dried. We'll try a couple more of these stars or snowflakes just because I know this one's really dry. So there you can kind of see them. It's not it's not as good as Kath did, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so then I have my bases already ready. And it's just like this with the sentiment inside. I'm going to put this on there. Let me show you how I put it together. Keep on there. So that's my alcohol ink one. You can see the snowflakes on there. Then um, I have some of this fuzzy 
paper that I purchased for making Santa Clauses a long time ago. And I'm just going to rip it. It has a fuzzy front and then paper back, so it's kind of easy to rip. that at the bottom. And then I have um, Merry Christmas. I used my Tim Holtz die and some glittery paper. I put some two-sided tape on the back so that when I pull this off, it's already a sticker. And then I have all of these snowflakes cut out and I'm going to put those around. So then the other thing that I did is I um, just put a little bit of glue <laughs> different places. to give it a little sparkle and then last but not least I put the kids on and, and the kids I put on with some foam tape just to make them pop up just a little bit so I took little strips and cut them so I could put them on their legs up to my finger so this is going to go right on here, like this. Get it off my fingers. Okay, so there you have it, my card for October. And it says, let laughter, love, and holiday cheer carry you into a happy new year. And I just think that's a really fun card. And there's the envelope and it's stand the back. So come on over to your paper pantry and join in the fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.